Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, we are going to be using my Ipsy, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus today to get ready, you guys. This is going to be a spring makeup look on top of a date night makeup look on top of an Ipsy unbagging. I feel like I'd be doing too much in my videos let me know if you agree let me know if you want me to turn it tone it down but um yeah we are going to go ahead and get into this so the i'll show you guys the first thing i got was actually an add-on oh, i need my phone for this hold on you guys okay so i was saying the first thing i got was actually an add-on so we're not going to include that in the overall value of the bag because I paid an additional price to add these on, but these are these um, two days, today's mask, two days mask. I got the hydrating one and the pore care one. And so I did go ahead and hide, add these on just because I love sheet masks. If you don't know when you're new here, I have three small boys, sometimes four. And the only time I get to do a mask is whenever it's bedtime, like around bedtime, which is whenever I shower. And so I really, really try to just do something that's not gonna take a long time, that's not gonna make a mess. Like, I like to take care of my skin, but I need it to be efficient and fast for me. So these you actually only have to use on, leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. I usually leave mask on for 15 sheet mask. And anyways, yeah, so I added those on. Okay, so the first thing I did end up getting, and this is what they chose for me, is this ABH. So this is a liquid glow and oyster. I haven't even opened it or swatched it. This will be used as one of our primers today. Like I'm gonna use it all over my face. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use this. This is kind of dark too. Like I don't know if they intended this to be for my body or what, because like that looks like it's way, well, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Like it's not too dark at all. That's really pretty. It blends out really good, but it's more glittery and shimmery than a glow. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't like glitter on my face. <laughs> I just don't. Anyways, and that retails for that retails for $25. So you've basically already have bought paid for your box with that one product. Okay, and then the next thing that they chose for me was this Ciate London Eye Luster Creme Eyeshadow in Cupid. Now this one retails for 22 bucks. Lots of stuff in the 20s. And that is just what it looks like in the packaging. Oh, that's, ooh, that is so pretty. It's like pink, but super gold. Like that is, probably the prettiest <gasps> so cute oh at first i was like i don't know if i'm gonna like this but that just that is so pretty now whenever you like use your finger to blend it though it does only turn into the glitter that pink hue in it goes away so i mean i don't know if that'll bother you but it's really pretty and like i said that retails for 22 dollars and the next pro, all the rest of these I chose out myself. And okay, so the next thing I did receive was the Dose of Colors Meteor Hue Concealer. And they sent me the shade number 12 Light Medium. This is like my perfect foundation shade. So it's not, but it read this expensive concealer this retails for 24 bucks so anyways this expensive old concealer and like i said they sent me the shade 12 light medium and i'm not kidding you guys like this is my perfect foundation shade like look at that it's, it's i mean it's a little bit more pink but i've been using this underneath my l'oreal powder foundation and let me just say i like this concealer it's super creamy and look it's already dried I blended it out and it dried down and like it's right here and like it kind of has like a nice glow to it but it feels matte so it doesn't feel too thick like it's thick and creamy but it doesn't feel thick on the skin it's 
excuse me. God, that was a hard chest slap. I don't know if that's making sense, what I'm saying. Oh, so that was 22, 24 bucks. Okay, the next thing that, okay, the next thing that I did receive was this Florence by Mills. I believe that this is 11, <laughs> okay, her real name is Mills, I guess. But this is the little girl who plays Eleven on Stranger Things. This is her brand. And this is the Glow Yeah Hydrating Lip Oil. I used this one day and it's not bad. And it lasts long on the lips and it makes your lips super shiny and pretty. But I mean, you gotta be careful with the packaging because the packaging, like it just pours out of there. So if you do use it, be careful because I mean, and like you really don't get that much product in there because all of this is clear and I've only used this one time, y'all. Like that's where the product is at and I've only used it one time. Like that's how much product gets wasted because it just pours out of that spout. So I'd be careful with that. But this lip oil retails for 14 bucks. Okay, and last but not least, y'all know I had to choose this item because why not? I was literally picking out makeup. I forgot that I got these in my Ipsy bag and I was picking out my eyeshadow brushes and I was like, oh, it's time to wash my brushes. I don't have any clean brushes, but luckily I have these. So these are the MOTD. So MOTD stands for Makeup of the Day Cosmetics. And these are in a blush blend, in a blush blending eye brush set. And it comes with Makeup of the day is pricey. And I actually have some makeup of the day eyeshadow brushes and they're actually really good. I don't like the way they smell though. They smell like, this is wood because I can smell the wood. It smells like a number two pencil. I guess it's just the packaging like this that smells wood. It smells like chemicals. But you get a, <laughs> these have really cute names so. This is Miss Shady Lady. That is so cute. <laughs> and then you get Standout Sweep, Come Through Contour. So I'm guessing this is to contour your nose. The Smoky Detailer Brush, Tapered Contour Crease Brush. And that reach this brush set for these five brushes retails for 58 bucks, you guys. Like that is expensive. So the overall value of my bag without the add-ons was 143 bucks and I only paid 27 bucks a month in Texas because depending on your state, your tax will be different. But if you're in Texas with tax, the Glam Bag Plus is 27 bucks. So who's super excited to get into applying these makeup, the, applying this makeup, trying out these products and getting our spring on. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so we are up close in the personal and my hair was super cute first thing this morning, but I came home and I did a Sydney Cummings 45 minute workout. And let me tell you, them workouts are actually like an hour long because even after the workout's over, my heart rate and the amount that my body is burning freaking last for like another 15 minutes after the workout. So they're really like, like your body really still burning intense calories like 15 minutes after her workouts, which is insane. And anyways, side note, but yeah, that's why my hair look a little bit nappy y'all. But I had these edges slipped and swooped this morning. But them Sydney Cummings workouts, I'm sweating your edges out. Y'all be thinking I'm playing. Okay, so let's start with, dang, I didn't grab anything guys. Starting with primer, we are first going to go in because after my, I washed and did my skincare. Let me, let me, hold on y'all. My hair is bothering me. So I was saying I did my skincare this morning, moisturizer and all of that this morning. But since I did my workout, after my workouts, I like to go over my face with, um, I like to go over my face with witch hazel. So it basically kind of like wipes everything off on top of the sweat. So I chose to use the Photo Finish Primerizer just so that way I can moisturize and prime like it says. And I think I'm going to buy the full thing of that, you guys, because I really, really like it. Like a lot. I shaved my face this morning and I cut myself here and here and I could feel a lot more like little telescopic cuts on my face whenever I applied that. So there might be alcohol in this because you burned your girl's face. <laughs> okay, so getting into the brows. 
I'm not the biggest fan of the shade of this, which is the NYX um, Brow Pencil. And I have the shade Espresso, just thinking it would be dark brown and not red. But since it's starting to warm up and it's springtime, the undertone in my hair is changing. It happens every summer or like er as soon as it starts to get warm, the color of my hair changes. It's almost like red, which is super weird, super weird. Like my hair gets dark in the winter and then in the summer it lightens with red undertones and it's the weirdest thing. So this will actually match my hair up here this summer, but not my brow hair, because my brow hairs don't change colors. Cute. And then to fill in today, we are actually going in with the brow pomade because it's day, night, and we need this to last until then. And it's only one o'clock. Brian's not getting off till 2.30. We're probably not gonna leave until like five or six. Gonna try to let Brian go to the gym because he hasn't been able to go all week. Oh, look, you guys, I was telling you how I had other, uh, MOTD brushes, this is one of them. So kind of the same thing. This one's called the Masterpiece Crease. And yeah, I, this is the second time I've been receiving brushes from this brand from Ipsy. So that's pretty cool. And I didn't even realize that I chose one out to use. Going in with my Profusion Angled Eyebrow Brush. So now that I'm using this, for whatever reason, Dark Brown by LA Girl on my brow is really red toned. I don't know if it's because I'm being very light handed with it or what, but it's kind of red toned. Well, it's more warm than cool. I think I need a third light for right here, like right in the middle, because I have two on the sides. But I think if I had a third light right in the middle, light, the lighting would be even more better. What do y'all think? Should I get the third light? Because like whenever I move, it causes a shadow. But I feel like if I had that third light kind of from above, the shadow wouldn't be that bad. Should I do it? Should I ask Brian if I can buy a third light? I mean, he's all for supporting my YouTube channel, so I don't think he'd mind. But what do you guys think? Does the shadow bother? Bother? I cannot. I don't know words today. I don't know English today. Does the shadow bother you guys? I have a bald spot right here in my brow, and I only notice it once I clean them up because for the most part, where there's hair, you can't really see the concealer. But every time I clean up, Concealer gets right in this little spot right here. And I'm like, oh, there's no hair there. And I never notice it before I do, like while I'm doing my brows or anything like that. Also, this tail is fat and this tail is skinny. Don't know what happened there. Okay, so now getting into eyeshadow, we are going to go ahead and use some very, very exciting a very, very exciting eyeshadow palette today. My sweet, sweet friend bought me this eyeshadow palette and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I don't ever, I just, I don't know. I just wanted that to be like a little blessing from her to me and for her to not be recognized for that blessing. So that way God can bless her in secret as well. That's why I've never mentioned who bought me these eyeshadow palettes or anything like that because I mean, I don't know. I love my friends and I really do pray. I mean, I only have two really, Karina and Raquel pray for them all the time. Whenever they gift me with stuff, I try not to show everything they gift me because I, I really want them, like I feel like that's a blessing in private from them to me. And I really want them to be blessed in private from God. So I try not to show it because I know that's one thing I tell people, like if I'm doing a blessing for them, I'm like, hey, don't tell anybody, don't post it. Like I don't want the glory. I want God's glory to show up in your life. So yeah, like don't praise me for it, so yeah. But we are playing with the Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. This is exciting and I did not realize it does not have a crease shade or anything like that. Let me check the other palettes real quick and see if there's one that I can incorporate to use with this one, just a sec. Okay, so we'll also be incorporating the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauve Palette. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this one right here and that's what I'm going to set my lid with. I know it's not like a cream shade, a matte like, or just skin tone shade, but it's the lightest shade that I could find and I'm not going to keep digging through palettes. And it matches, it matches the tone for today. Brian and I are going on a date night tonight. Last time we went, last month when we went on our date, 
we did kind of like a laid back dress type of day and I kind of want to do that again because it was so fun and then if we go bowling <gasps> that's what we should do we should go bowling and go eat sounds like so much fun okay so for the crease I am going to take the brush that we got from my ipsy taking the tapered contour crease brush maybe not um and only because this seems very very like this would we'll use this in a minute is what i'm trying to say i'm going to take this brush here and i want to take let's take this one in the crease right here oh that's powdery Wow, that color matches my shirt perfectly. What's that? A hat? Crazy, funky, junky hat of a slap. Hair slightly. Trying to look like you're not. We've been there. We did not. We see right through your funky hat. Who else? Who else's jam was Wizards of Waverly Place? I've always been a Selena Gomez over Miley Cyrus fan. Like, I don't know. Like, I like Tana Montana, but Wizards of Waverly Place was my jam. And Selena Gomez is still my damn over. I swear, me and Selena Gomez were like best friends growing up. She don't know that, but she was my best friend. Okay, so um, you know, where's that stick? So this this more pink or more purple? I think it's more purple. So let's go ahead and take this shade here and start putting that a little bit more precise in the crease and now we're going to use the tapered um contour crease brush wow okay okay abh okay girl she came to play no games i mean i knew from the swatches they were pigmented but this is literally my first time using these eyeshadow palettes i haven't even touched them off camera oh and those are just the boxes back there these are actually inside of my collection now we're going to take the miss shady lady brush i love that name i just think that name is so cute miss shady I'm like, who's that name you know what i can be doing right now instead of applying this after i could just apply it right now because my lips is looking terrible Guys, I didn't even squeeze any product out because it's all around the tube. But the smell reminds me of something. It reminds me of something and I don't know what. But yeah, see, it's really pretty and it's more of a gloss than an oil to me is the way it feels. Like more of a gloss than an oil. But I really do like it. It's not bad at all, but I don't think it's worth 14 bucks. Okay, and then, I mean, you could go to Sugared Cosmetics and get their lip oils for like six bucks. If we're being honest. Okay, now I'm going to take C2. Yeah, so C2. So that was C1, this is C2. And we're going to do the same exact thing, just gradient, like, like creating a gradient effect. I think I've only done a purple look one other time. I, well, actually I haven't done like just a solo purple look. I think it's always like pink and purple or blue and purple, but not just purple. This was supposed to be spring, but it's ending up a lot darker. Purple's a spring color though. It's definitely a lot of summer and winter color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this shade here in the middle and kind of dab it, cause y'all know, ooh, that's so pretty, ooh, that's pretty. That shade in the center looks like it's gonna match this perfectly. God, the shadow is so soft. I feel like it's gonna hit pan fast because it's so soft. Taking our brushes and we're just gonna blend those edges out a little bit. That's cute. Okay, taking, I'm excited to try this. I got glitter everywhere. All right, y'all. That eyeshadow gets glitter everywhere. Like my face is so glittery right now. So I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna tap, tap right where we put that eyeshadow. Oh. Did 
This is so pretty. How? This is so cute. I don't mean it. It's gonna take forever to go through this big old tube of liquid eyeshadow, but. <laughs> still wet I could feel it I'm going to try okay so I'm going to try this um physician's formula matte minoy bronzer bronzer I shot oh my gosh eyeliner again because I kind of struggled with it the last time and I mean it is super matte super black and doesn't budge so I really want to like it but I mean once this is on it's on and once it dries you can't go over it again and I'm not perfect at applying liquid eyes eyeliner so here goes a whole lot of nothing and it's dry like that's it like like you better be ready to do one one swipe and done because that's it it's already dry and if i try to go over it it's going to start crumbling all right you guys so i actually need a black liner to tighten all right, so using my Wonder Beauty to tight line, it was just the first one that I grabbed. Let's see how the eyeliner came out. That's a baby wing. Yeah. Kind of want to mess with it, kind of don't. Yeah. You want my opinion? Go with the $3.99 Essence one and leave this $10, $11, $12 one alone. Just go with this one. Get this one. Okay, so I really want to apply this under just so we can go ahead and try this out. Um, so let's go. Oh, I did not even do lashes. We'll apply this and then get to lashes. I feel like I applied way too much. I'm going to look like a disco ball. That's what else I forgot to do, guys. Spray my face primer. Where's my mind at today? Cause it's not in filming. Applying mascara and lashes, and the lashes I'm putting on are the Eyelore number 126 lashes. And then we will be right back. All right, you guys. So, lots of stopping, lots of needing to do other stuff, but the lashes are on. And, oh, this is, I feel like this is more for your body. Um, it says face highlighter. This is literally just a highlighter. This I would not use this as like a glow product to make you glow underneath because I mean like, am I glowy? Yes, but it doesn't add like moisture or anything like that. And I have sparkle all over, sparkles all over my flipping face. So what I did want to do though is go around my face and cover all these, well, all these little breakout spots with the Dose of Colors concealer just to kind of color correct, pretty bad. Got a cut there and a cut here and a cut there from shaving my face today. So that is all the color correcting we're going to do and I'm blending it out with this. Now we are taking this little teeny tiny Estee Lauder foundation. This is like one of the deluxe samples. I got it from Ulta. And I feel like it was too light for me at one point. And if it's still too light, we will make it work with cream bronzer. I feel like all high-end foundations have the same smell. Cause this one reminds me of like other high-end foundations I've smelled. It's so weird. So yeah, and now we're just gonna go ahead and blend it out with a little elf sponge. And we're just also just gonna see how the glow sits underneath the foundation. So the coverage is not terrible. Okay. So it's actually looking really pretty and glowy right now. I'm going to add just one more layer. And also I hate when I pick out a pimple so much that it scabs purple and then I get this underneath my foundation. Why do I do that to myself?
Okay, so this is looking a tiny, like, like a smidge too light for me, but we're gonna go ahead and go in with concealer and I'm just using my um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I'm just gonna start blending that in. So now that we're done with highlighting, we're gonna go ahead and go in with this bronzer. I broke the little twisty thing in here and I don't know how, but I cannot get it to come up anymore. I don't know if I twisted it the wrong way, but I've been trying for weeks to get it up. So anyways, start bronzing our face. Okay, so since we have this brush, let's go ahead and use it. This is a come through contour brush. Let's contour our nose with this. I've never really changed brushes to contour my nose, but I don't know, let's see if it makes a difference. I don't like this brush. Okay, snatched nozzle. Got that snatch snout. Piglet who? Okay, now we're just gonna use the same brush and start contouring our lips. Okay, and then we are gonna go ahead and use our Rare Beauty Blush. And we're using this LR322 Kabuki Brush. Okay, and now we are gonna go ahead and set our face and I did not bring out any setting powders. So we're just gonna use our Complex Culture one in the shade Clarity and start setting our face with that. Okay, so we are going to finish up the eyes and what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna go in with C3 right, or C1 right here and just buff that one first and I'm taking the Smoky Detailer brush and I'm just keeping that as low, close to the lash line as possible. Okay, and now I'm going to take C2 and put that one really just only closer towards the inner and outer corner. And now what I wanna do is, I wanna take this, but first let me put on my eyeliner and I'm just gonna use the LA Girl Pastel Dreams liner in lavender and put that on my waterline. Okay, so I'm taking this Morphe brush and it's just a really small pencil brush. And I'm gonna go back in with the Ciate Lended Luster, what is it called? Cream, Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. <laughs> And I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush. Ooh, that's a lot of it. I'm gonna tap some of this on my hand because I got a lot. And then we're gonna put that right in the center, kind of right below, like, we're gonna mirror where it's at on, the, on my eyelid. There we go. That's really pretty. And then we are gonna go ahead and go back in with our mascara, which the one I'm using is the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara, and just coat our lower lashes with that. There we go. And now we're just gonna go on with the powder products you know, just to kind of make sure it don't go nowhere. So I'm taking my BFF, my BH Cosmetics BBF, what? BFF Snatch to Face Palette. I'm gonna take Skinny Legend and we're taking my favorite contour slash bronzer brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and start chisel, chisel, chiseling that face out. And then we are gonna go ahead and take the blush in here as well. And this is going to be our blush today. Well, our second blush today. Taking our Makeup Revolution palette and I'm just gonna take these two and, or let's take these two and mix them together. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm taking a pencil brush and only taking the purple. We're gonna put that on our inner corner. <laughs> now for lips taking my la girl lip liner in the shade spicy or keeping it spicy keep it spicy i'm gonna line our lips with that my lips with that everything just rolling around my table with no lid okay so first i'm gonna take this little lottie london lip stay all day lipstick and this is a mini slay all day what color is this this is in the shade fleek but it's just a little sample of a lottie london liquid lipstick and I feel like this would match. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Looks nothing like what it looked like in the tube, but okay. We're just gonna leave that on underneath and we're gonna go over it with <laughs> this Smashbox one and Barely or Babe Alert. Is this dried? Did I use this all? Guess who's not having luck? This is trash. Fun fact, I have no purple tone lipsticks whatsoever i have so much on my lips right now i think i'm gonna wipe it off and start over all right y'all best bet is to go in with my lip liner in the shade blushing okay now we're gonna take this what happened to my ultra blotted lip because i'd be so pretty with the lips so ultra blotted lip it works and now time to set our brows curl our lashes Set our faces and we're done. Did I even grab a brow gel? Yes, I did. Wonder Beauty, of course I did. And we're gonna set with Revolution Pro Hydramus. Oh. Hydramat Fixing Spray. forgot how intense that spray was all right you guys that is it for today's ipsy unbagging slash try on um even though this turned into an entire makeup look i really like this this is super i like this a lot more than i thought i was going to like it this is really good like i said maybe in the summer i'll get a little bit darker and this will be like an actual like concealing highlight slash highlighting shade for me but i do like it to cover up dark spots it doesn't do great but it does good like I said, my only complaint with this is that I really feel like it's overpriced and the tube gets a lot a bit messy, but like that's kind of neither here nor there, so I'm not too mad about that. And then, love these brushes. They're super good. You saw how easy, like how good they worked for blending out and packing on, because like, like it was literally so good for both. Packing on and then blending out is what I did. And so I really, really like these. I really like this sm this smoky detailed brush because I can get up under there and like use like different angles and really get the eyeshadow where I really want it. And that is for, what was my fifth product from Ipsy? Oh, this. I mean, I thought it was gonna be one of those things that you kind of put under a foundation and it makes you look dewy underneath. It's not that at all. This is a liquid highlighter and a liquid highlighter only for strategic placing. Almost like if you were to cream highlight, that's what this is for. So anyways, yeah, you guys. But yeah, that is it for today's makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I need to change my watch band to my pink or purple one. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.